to ask you to move. I'm really sorry we tried. People in Edmonton want this situation dealt with. And these people dealt with fairly, equitably, and give them their lives back. We believe we can end homelessness, not just manage it, no more soup kitchens and shelters. Uh, we had 800 people that took part in the consultation session, so I think there's a real will to uh, solve this issue in Edmonton. If you have a small group of community agencies get together and say, we want to make a difference, well, that's nice. We can make a difference on our own level. But when you add the business and the politicians at the table, absolutely, a tremendous chance in uh, increasing the chances of success. When you trace um, the, the amount of services that an individual requires um, when they have a stable home versus when they don't, it, it's a lot cheaper in the long run. Um, there's less use of emergency services, there's uh, less uh, crime that's committed. One out of uh, every five call to our emergency management services is a person who's homeless. And one of the uh, ones that I found actually quite staggering was uh, the length of hospital stay. The average stay is about nine days a year. But for a homeless person that requires hospital care, it, the average is 66 days a year. So just think of the cost of that to society. Well, I've worked at the Royal Alec, which is an inner city emergency department. One major problem is homelessness. When you don't have anywhere to go, if you're hungry or you have no place to sleep, many people end up in a hospital emergency department. That's a place some of them call home. One person I, I recall has visited us 750 times, many times, uh, by ambulance. There are many other cities, particularly in the United States, where they have de developed 10-year plans, and they're actually seeing progress. For example, in Portland, uh, the chronic homelessness have been uh, reduced by 70% in four years' time. We also have a lot of really good stuff happening in Edmonton. We have, uh, we're very fortunate to have some members of the housing sector who've been very progressive. You know, we've got uh, organizations that have outreach teams that are changing the way they do outreach. Just Place Health and Wellness Center is a drop-in center. Uh, we like to service the needs of the homeless. And it's through those relationships that we can then help to house them. They've saved my life. I came to them at about a buck fifty. Um, and when I walked in and asked these two gentlemen to help me, it was a hard thing for me to do because I grew up in the street. I am one of the baddest people you can meet. And since these guys opened up their arms, I'm 40 pounds heavier. My immune system went from 8% to 400. My HIV is very detectable. Um, I owe them my life. First time I met Charles, well, uh, he came into the center. And typical, uh, you know, street, Tough guy, uh, you know, got the swagger going, came swaggering in. I'm 42 now. Um, I moved out here in 1990. I was introduced to cocaine since then. Um, I've been on the street 25 years, maybe five at the most. I lived in an apartment or, or somebody else's place. The other 20 was on the street or crack houses. And you lived on the street your whole life. Can you imagine? going into a situation as intimidating as meeting a landlord and saying, I want to rent this apartment off you. And, and they put a piece of paper in front of you and say, well, great, just fill out this form. I got no credit. I got no history. I got no references. For me to go get an apartment and fill out a piece of paper, I might as well have to hand it to you blank. As a support worker, we can come alongside and say, we'll help you fill out that form. And by the way, we're the support for this apartment. So you can call us. If you have a problem with this tenant, don't even go to the tenant. We'll come and work with the tenant. And we are the credit check. We are the reference check. We will be there. We will fix that apartment if it gets damaged. 
And landlords really have come to understand that when we rent an apartment, we're renting that apartment for life. Charles has been on the street 20 years. He hasn't done a lot of cooking. And learning how to cook again, how to, how to menu plan, how to stretch your dollars to budget. So they take me shopping, they help me with my medical, they've got me my ID, they're there whenever you need them. It's not our job to say, hey, you gotta stop using drugs. It's our job to support them when they make that decision to stop using drugs. You need help, you, you need friends, you need love. If not, you'll die alone and you'll die on the streets. And I didn't want that, I'm tired, I'm old. These gentlemen reached out and gave me my own place, a home. This is my home. And I might be able to see my kid graduate, which is, it's, it's just, I can't say much. All I can say is thank you from the bottom of my heart. Won't you let